Hi friends, welcome to Learn with Krishna Sandeep channel. So in this video, we'll see one important program, how to find sum of all elements of an array using Java 8. Okay. So Java doesn't have any built-in method before uh, Java 8, uh, unlike any programming languages like C++, PHP, okay, or .NET framework. So before Java 8, if we have to perform sum of elements in an array, what we need to do is, we have to iterate the given array using the for each loop and uh, find the sum of all elements okay and accumulate the sum of all elements into a single variable and finally print that variable so that's how we used to perform the sum of elements in an array okay so with the introduction of java 8 streams okay we can easily get a sum of all array elements using stream.sum method so to get a stream of array elements we can use arrays.stream method okay so first what we will do is before going in, into deep into the streams uh, first let me create an array so how do you create an array so just say int array equal to two three four five seven so before java 8 if i have to perform sum of all the elements in an array i have to iterate through each and every element and add one element to the other and store that value into a variable and finally print that variable this is how we used to do now if we have to do that so how do we do that so i'm just saying in sum okay so i'm just calling arrays dot stream so okay so arrays dot stream will return you uh, the stream class i mean if you are passing the double array it will give you double stream if you are passing integer array it will give integer stream if you are passing long array it will pass uh, it will give you long stream so since we are passing int array okay it will give you the int stream array dot sum So finally, what we need to do, we need to print this. This is the first method. Just call arrays.stream and on that call the sum method. What this sum method will do, it returns the sum of elements in the stream. So this is a special case of reduction and it is equal to return reduce of integer sum. Okay, but we'll uh, look into the more details into this method. But for the time being, what this will do, it will return the sum of all the elements in a stream. So let's run the program and see the output. So if you see here, 21. So 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 5, 14 plus 7, 21. So this is how we perform sum uh, by using the arrays dot stream and uh, sum method. Now let's go into the second method. So the second method is we have different streams, right? Int stream, double stream, long stream. So we can call the off method of int stream, double stream and long stream class for int, double and long array. So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just calling int stream dot off. Okay. And here just call sum int stream dot off dot sum. So, which will return you the sum in the sum. Okay, into stream dot of dot sum. Here we need to pass the array. Okay. Now, just so first, what we are doing, we are creating an integer stream. How do you create an integer stream? If we pass array of values to the int stream of method, it will give you the int stream. So, on int stream, what we are doing, we are just calling the sum method. So, you got it right. Now, finally, just say sys out someone. Okay. Now, let's look into the third method. So, in the third method, what we are going to do is we are just calling arrays.stream. Okay. And we pass the value over here. I mean, array over here. What is the array? Just array and call reduce method on it. Okay. And here we need to pass lambda function array x comma y lambda x plus y and finally call just dot get 
okay fine java dot util dot array and just call in the reduce method on it x comma y lambda x plus y dot get as int let's see what is the error over here get as int okay somehow it is unable to recognize this i'm just checking okay fine here we need to close this x comma y and now just call get as int method okay so what we are doing we are calling the reduce method uh, first what we are doing we are creating a stream from a given array and we are calling the reduce method so what this reduce method does it performs a reduction on the elements of this stream using an associative accumulation function and it returns optional in describing the reduced value so finally what it does is it uh, it returns the value okay it reduces the elements of the stream by using the function so by passing this function it reduces the value and finally it returns a single integer which is the sum okay and this is the third method and finally just call system dot out dot print ln sys out dot out dot print ln sum to this is the third method now let's get on to the fourth method so what is the fourth method we are calling okay what we are doing we are just calling reduce by using the method references so method reference is one of the way to uh, perform the sum of elements in an array so just call arrays dot stream of array dot reduce and just call integer sum dot get as int and here call int sum3 system.out.println sum3 okay so this is the fourth method so finally we'll look into the last method uh, which is by using the summary statistic method okay so to get the information about the elements of the stream like uh, minimum maximum average and sum so we have a class called int uh, summary statistics okay so arrays dot stream we have a method called summary statistics which will give you the okay sum of the values so this is the last method so just call arrays dot stream just pass the array values over here and call summary statistics dot get sum so this will return you long sum long value So it returns the sum of the values recorded of zero if no values have been recorded. If there are no values, right? So it will return you zero. Otherwise, it will return the sum of the values. This get sum method. And coming to the summary statistics. So let's see what is the summary statistics. So int summary statistics is a class. It returns a summary statistics describing the various summary data like minimum, maximum. Okay. So we, it's a terminal operation. So it has different functions like minimum, maximum. If you see here so count minimum maximum equals average so we have different methods over here we can use any of these methods if you want to perform different operations from the summary statistics okay so this is the fourth way sorry fifth way int sum for log okay system dot out dot print ln just call this sum for Now let's run the program and see the output. Okay, you see in all the way different ways we are getting the same sum. So these are the five different ways to perform sum of all the elements in an array. Hope you got it right. So thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.